Hi guys, welcome to another video by myself, Rob Allen. Sorry for the long delay. As you know, COVID upset the world a bit. Hope you guys are all safe out there. Uh, we very busy, fortunately, a lot of businesses are not, and we're very thankful for that. Today I want to talk about flashes, specifically our small bait ball flasher. I'll show you this in some detail and show you the do's and don'ts and the why's and the wherefores. As mentioned, there are many variables with flashes. Over the years, we've seen them generally get larger and larger. In my opinion, bigger is not necessarily better. I'm of the opinion too much clutter in the water can actually scare fish away. I've seen fish swim down a reef and a whole bunch of divers ahead of them, some with large flashes, some with much smaller ones. And the smaller ones seem to attract the fish closer. It's small, it's something interesting, and they'll come in to investigate. Something very large that they can see from a long distance away, I think it turns them away to some degree. Not all the time, but to me, the smaller the flasher, the better it works, especially if it's got a good action. This is why we've developed this smaller fish-like stainless steel plate with some nice shiny printing on it. The most important part is actually the small tail. This little tail, as you can see in the images underwater, performs with very little movement. And just this subtle flash from time to time definitely brings the fish in. Especially smaller game fish, they'll come in on it as well as the large sailfish. We've had customers shoot sailfish off these small little flashes. We do make this variant in two different sizes. Personally, I much prefer the smaller one, as you can hear, and uh, it's also much easier to use when you're on a shore dive. For the shore dive guys, we have made a small capsule that is used to pack the whole flasher inside. It also doubles as the float and has a flag on top. For those that boat dive can use the conventional flasher float winder with the flag. In terms of the flasher's action, very little movement is needed to get the small fish to bob around and to get the tails spinning to some degree. What you also need to notice is the new design of skirt on the bottom has a weight in it to allow it to lay almost horizontal but bobs and ducks and dives in all different directions. This gives it a much better action than the older style vertical almost like a pulsing octopus. This new one is very good at attracting certain fish up off the bottom. A lot of your rock cods, cods, they'll come up off the bottom to investigate the skirt alone. So there you have it. Hope that helps and be safe out there. And remember, bigger isn't always better.